Welcome back friends. Are you as excited for this upcoming spring season as I am? I am so excited for it and I love at the beginning of every season to put together a marathon video for you guys. In today's video I've combined a lot of my past spring videos into one so that you can watch each video back to back without any interruption. So I'm hoping today's video will give you a lot of early spring cleaning motivation and early spring decorating ideas. So go ahead, put this video up on your television, your iPad, your phone, however you watch your YouTube channels, and let me inspire you and entertain you for the next couple of hours. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin, and welcome to my channel. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin if you happen to be new. Today's video is all about my kitchen. I've already got my kitchen pretty cluttered and clean, so all we have to do in today's video is start decorating. Well, spring and Easter decorating, that is. If you saw my last week's bedroom makeover, you know that I've already begun my spring cleaning and spring decorating, and I even added a few Easter decor pieces. I'll add that video link at the end of this video if you've missed it. I've got a spring home tour collaboration coming soon with my friend Angie, so every video you see before my home spring tour will be in preparation for that. Alright, now that I've showed you some before pictures of my kitchen, I wanted to show a quick shot though of the kitchen window so you could see the new Roman shade I just picked up. I just love the color and the warmth that it adds into the kitchen. Here on top of my refrigerator, I'll be displaying a couple of my Pioneer Woman pieces. I just love collecting pictures, and you'll actually see quite a few of my collection in this video today. If you're not a big person who likes to change up all of your decor for each season like I am, but still want to add a simple look to represent what season we're in, I believe a picture with florals is the way to accomplish that. Since I've added this menu board that you can write on it with chalk, this area has quickly become one of my favorite areas to decorate. I'm just going to add a simple Easter wreath. I'm going to leave my sand on this board alone. It just says, count your many blessings one by one. And then I'm going to add a beautiful white pitcher with some lavender florals. And to finish it off, this great fresh strawberry hibiscus candle that I picked up from Target. Okay, so this little area is decorated on top of the refrigerator is decorated. Now let's move over to this corner right here. I normally have my two-tiered tray there, but I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna do a round basket with a different lamp in it. This is a lamp that I usually use in the summertime in the dining room, and I'm gonna try it here in a round basket. Let's see if I'm gonna like it or not. Okay, now that I've got the basket and the lamp kind of sorted out, let's start by using this little kitchen towel that I picked up from Target. I'm really trying to go with this pretty green throughout my kitchen and my dining room area for spring. I'm going to insert these sweet little bunnies. I picked these up at the Target dollar spot. Um, I think they're like three bucks a piece and they are adorable. I am all about an Easter bunny. So you'll also see not only pictures throughout this kitchen decorate with me, but you'll see lots of Easter bunnies. Okay, now that it takes me just a second to get those sorted, are you like that too? I just have to rearrange and rearrange and rearrange until I get it just like I want it. And look at these gorgeous little bowls I also picked up from the Thresso line at Target. 
I just love the sage green on there and I'm going to just insert a simple little greenery ball on the top of that just to kind of complete that look. I've been a writer, I've been a mess, I've been a dreamer, settled for less, I've been a fire, I've been the rain, I've been a circle, closing again, but you can trust me with your heart, cause I and just to help cover up some of these wires and that outlet here in this area, I'm going to display some of my favorite marble cutting boards. I'll also add this cute little Easter egg arrangement and this adorable rattan Easter bunny. Don't be scared, I can lead you through the track. Okay, I think I'm gonna like it here. I think it is absolutely adorable. I think all the colors in that lamp really add some, I don't know, excitement to this corner over here. And I'm loving all these Easter rabbits. I am all about an Easter bunny. And can y'all, can y'all hear the wind chimes? It is beautiful outside today. It's about 65, it's a Sunday afternoon. Try to be quiet so you can hear my chimes. I just love to hear my wind chimes. Okay, so now let's move over to the sink area. I'm not gonna add anything else to my window seal, but I am gonna add a new dish towel and something to go right there on that hook. I love keeping that decorated. So let's get that done real quickly. All I've done to my sink area, I've just left my little Pioneer Woman clock there in my plant. I picked up a couple of those dish towels with the sage green in it from the Threshold line at Target. I think they're just beautiful. I've had that little mini wreath and that cutting board for some time, and I just love to decorate just around that little cutting board. And then down here, I've just added a cute little scrubby with a little holder and a little tray. I picked this up last summer from Grove Collaborative and I got a new scent in, the mint scent. I got it in the hand soap and in the disinfectant spray. So I'm excited to try that out in my kitchen. And then of course, another little piece of Pioneer Woman, my little Pioneer Woman scrubber for my dishes. So, so very simple here in my sink area. Okay, so moving right along, now we're gonna do the area to the left of the stove. And I usually just have a cutting board there that I keep decorated with my utensil holder sitting there. And today I'm gonna use just a little cake, a simple cake stand and decorate it for spring. And then here's where I keep all my copper collection. And I think I'm gonna add just maybe a touch of greenery there in my little pitcher right there.
My idea here was to create a simple, spring-inspired, yet functional vignette. I'll start with using a cutting board as my base. I'll include my utensil holder and olive oil dispenser that I use on a regular basis. That'll be the functional side of it. And then by adding the sweet rabbit cutting board, those adorable bowls, and a bunny rabbit, that'll be the spring-inspired side of this vignette. Alright, now let's work on this corner. I like using something round here as my base. I think it fills the area better than something square or oblong. So I'll start with this round cake stand. I'll use this sweet dish towel that says Happy Spring to give this area a more layered look and to kind of break up the brown color of the cake stand. This beautiful tan and white picture is new to my collection. I'll add some simple spring florals to it to really brighten up this area. And then to add a touch of Easter, I'll add these sweet wooden rabbits. Now let's move over to the area that I call my coffee bar. I'm not going to do a lot here in this area today. I'll display some more of my Pioneer Woman pieces and continue to use the same canisters. I'll have an Easter coffee bar video for you guys in a week or two. In that video, I'll really be sprucing up this area with some adorable Easter decor ideas. I absolutely love keeping my coffee bar decorated for whatever season we're in. I'm a huge fan on finding small things in my life that bring me joy, and keeping this area fresh and festive is certainly something that brings me joy. Will you forgive me if I fail when I'm lost and erased? You'll see here that I wasn't very happy with the way it turned out. So I'm going to switch things up and I'm going to use the bigger cutting board on the as a base. And then I'm going to use my little Lazy Susan and I'm just going to prop it up on the wall just to kind of display it. I love these Lazy Susans. I have this one and I have another one in the dining room that were given to me at Christmas time. And I think they're just gorgeous. So the second time I redo the coffee bar, I like it a little bit better. But I am excited to bring this Easter coffee bar to you guys and really, really liven up this little area. Rain through trouble and pain if ever my heart strain Will you pull me through Like you always do When I am calling your name When I am calling your name Okay, now that I pretty much have the countertops decorated, let's move over to my open shelving. You guys will see this picture that I already have hanging. This is kind of what inspired me to do the sage green in my kitchen and dining room this year. And that picture I got from Hobby Lobby and I just love it. So here's a few items I'm going to be using on the top shelf. Um, pretty much everything here is something that I've already had. There's really nothing new, I don't think. Maybe there's some bowls in just a second that's brand new. Everything I'm using on these open shelving today, they're items that I already had. Now I'm just going to start with one of my favorite pictures, uh, my favorite green picture I should say, and I'm just going to add these beautiful tulips that I got these last year off of Amazon and they look so real. I just love them. And of course for a touch of Easter I'm going to add these cute, cute little bunnies 
And I've got this little small coffee cup holder from the Target dollar spot. This is something that's new. I forgot about that. And I'm just going to display my little small creamer um, mugs here on this little stand. I think it turned out so, so cute. Through trouble and pain, if ever my heart strain. And here are some items I'll be using for my second shelf. I've got some more of those pretty green sage bowls, another one of those cup towels that I use to throw out the sink, some of my favorite white pitchers, and a sweet little lavender mini wreath. I wanted to use some more lavender here to kind of play off of the lavender florals that I used in that white vase there on that small table going into the living room. If I'm lost along the way, if you find me in a shade of this array, I'm also going to use another one of these really pretty kitchen towels that I used over by the kitchen sink that's got that gorgeous green sage color in it and some more of these sweet, sweet little bowls. And I really think just adding some little greenery here in this area also just kind of completes that little look. Then I'm going to add to my white pitcher these sweet little Easter egg garland. I got this at Hobby Lobby last year, I believe, but look how cute that is, guys. And then, of course, I'm going to display both of my white pitchers and my magnolia table book and that lavender mini wreath just kind of gives that more of a layered look there in that area there's a tiny tin man in the sand i see a flower in his hand greeting all the mighty ways to land Okay, I just have a few more touches to add here in the kitchen and I'll be done. Y'all, this tray may not be the prettiest thing, but this is what holds all my husband's goodies when he gets in from work. Whatever's in his pocket, his knife, his keys, his hats, it goes there in that tray. So this is kind of Derek's area and I try not to mess with it too much. Our bills go there. I do think it looks a little bit better there when I have that little matching picture with some florals there to kind of brighten up that area. Then I'm just going to add that pretty little reef on my mirror in the hallway. Cute little Easter bunny pill at the end of the bar and of course always a fresh hand towel I sure hope I've inspired you to do some spring decorating or maybe even some early Easter decorating in your home today. If you happen to be new today, I would love it if you would take a second and hit that subscribe button before you leave today. And if you hit that bell notification button, then you won't miss any of my upcoming spring videos. I've got a porch makeover for you guys. I've got a home tour. I have so many fun collabs and I would love for you to stick around and come back for more. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That helps out my video so, so much. Thanks for spending some time with me, friends. If you're new, don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section. Maybe your name, where you're from. I'd love to talk to you. And guys, I will see y'all next week. Thanks again for watching. Bye. friends welcome back to my channel I'm Robin if you happen to be new today's video is all about my kitchen hutch we're gonna style my kitchen hutch for spring and add a couple of Easter decor touches to it also I pretty much have everything off the hutch except my staples I've got some cookbooks here and some lazy Susans that I normally just keep in these slots here I'm gonna take those out get this good and walked down and then let's start adding our spring touches to this kitchen hutch First, let me show you a couple of new pieces that I got. If you saw my spring decor haul a few weeks back, you'll notice some of these pieces here, but I think I have four, maybe five pieces. Um, one is thrifted and three or four are brand new. So let me show you these pieces real fast that I'm gonna be using on my hutch today. 
First, let's start with this adorable two-tiered tray that I got off of Amazon. Is this not the cutest little tray ever? This little Easter Bunny's face is just adorable. He has a crown of flowers on his head and he is just precious. They also have a line of dishes. I did not get those. I thought maybe I would spend that money next year, but I did get this two-tiered tray to go here on the hutch. I think it is simply precious. Then this piece is a thrifted piece. It is so, so sweet. If you've been around my channel for any length of time, Neil, you know I just love a good floral. And I saw this on my friend Charlotte's live post that she had at Hard Trade Days here in our hometown, and I just could not resist. So I picked this up really cheaply. I think it was only like $8, guys. So this was a steal in my eyes. And here is this beautiful picture that I also showed in my haul a few weeks back that I just love. I got from Hobby Lobby. Along with one more picture. Isn't it just beautiful? I'm hoping this fits well at the top of the hutch. And one last thing. This beautiful sage crock that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Kind of goes along. It looks blue on camera, but it's definitely that sage green that I'm going for in the kitchen and in the dining room this year. start with my big pieces first and I'm going to start with this picture and I think I'm just going to place it right here at the top. I'm not going to hang it up there. I'm just going to set it up there and I think I'll kind of layer it with this lamp just a little bit. There. Just love that picture. Another item that I love to use here is this L cutting board. It's more like a, it's not really a real cutting board. It's more for decorations and to kind of give it a little spring look. I'm just going to add this really pretty boxwood wreath to it. It kind of covers up the L a little bit, but I really like a wreath hanging on that for springtime. And then we'll place that right there, just to kind of even out the height also on that top shelf. And you guys know I love my plants. Okay, so I'm just going to add him right here. So when he starts growing, he'll just kind of strain down on the buffet. I think that would look really pretty. So we'll put him there. Okay, so there's the top shelf with all the big pieces added. Now let's complete this area and fill in all the blank spots with some more decor and see what we can come up with on this top shelf. Okay, I went through my florals and I found these really pretty white hydrangeas that I picked up last year from the Dollar General store. And then I'll add them to this sage green crock. Okay, I'm going to add these really sweet little houses. They're kind of a cream color. They're not a true white, and I think they're perfect up here. I'm just going to add those right there. And then I'm going to add this great candle, this lemon zest and sage candle that I got from Target a few weeks back. It smells so, so good. I've been burning it. I've been burning it already, and I have to keep a candle on this top shelf because these other shelves uh, are just too close together and it'll smoke up the top of my shelf. So this is the best spot to, have to put a candle. Let me scoot this down just a tad so I don't cover up that cutting board too much. Okay, there. I think that's pretty evenly spread out. Okay, now that the top shelf is taken care of, I just love the way it turned out. Let's head down to the second shelf. 
Okay, I'm gonna create just this little simple vignette right here to the left of this shelf. And I'm gonna start with this cute little riser. Put him right there. He fills in that area really well. And then we'll add some of these really pretty sage bowls. I also use some of these in my spring kitchen video. They are so pretty. And then just to complete this, I'm gonna add just a tad bit of greenery, just a little greenery sprig. And I'm gonna tuck it in just right there. Ah, how sweet is that? Just to display those bowls that I love so much. Okay, because I haven't really added any Easter yet, let's add these sweet little Easter eggs right there. And then I'm gonna use a cake stand, just a simple cake stand with a cute little bunny on the bottom. And we'll place him there in the middle. And then I'm gonna take this pretty little tea towel with these carrots on it. Aren't they so cute? It's pretty neutral. I'm trying to stay with the greens and the sage color. There's sage in here. So I think I'm just gonna place this right here. I don't wanna cover up the rabbit, so I don't know if I wanna turn it this way. Then you can see it as you walk in the door or if I wanna turn it this way. So, let's see here. I guess we'll just, we'll do this way for the top end. See, we'll, we'll go from there. So I'm just gonna place that there. And then to display some more cute little bowls that I picked up at Target. I just love these also. I have some of these beside my stove. I'm just gonna place those right there. Sweet. I think that is, I think that's just a great way to kind of display those bowls there. Okay, and to break up some of my whites, I'm gonna add this new picture that I found that I just love. I love the dark brown with the white on the back of it. It's so, so pretty. Those different colored sage green books. I just love the look of that so much. And then I'll just complete the second shelf with this thyme plant that came from Target. Okay guys, so there's the second shelf. What are you thinking so far? Let's move up to the top shelf real fast. So I've got these two shelves completed. Uh, I just love them. So now let's move down to the bottom shelf. Okay, so before I decorate this bottom area here, let's get all my cookbooks and my cutting boards and my Lazy Susans back in their little slots. I know I for sure want my little tiered tray here. Oh, just adorable. And then I thought I was going to put, and then I thought I was gonna use my tea kettle there. However, I'm not real sure. I think I might wanna move this up to the next shelf. So let's see about moving this up to the next shelf. I don't really like the contrast of that going together. This is really bright and this is more muted. And so I really want this to be the center of attention here on this area. So let me move this up for a second. I think I'm gonna have to move some of this down in order to get my teapot where I want it. So let's move this down some. And then let's put our teapot, let's see. Do I wanna do that? And then put our little teapot right here. What do you think? Yeah, I think that would work. Cause I think the plant, my time plant and this plant really contrast well together. So let's try that. And I think all I'm gonna do down here is just add a simple plant and just like, like I said, let that really be my center point there. Maybe I'll put a little tea towel underneath this plant real fast. Or maybe just a little cutting board. I don't know. Let's see. What else can I do there? How about this sweet little Hello Spring tea towel underneath the plant? After sitting back and looking at everything, I'm going to make just a couple of adjustments here on the hutch. 
While I'm making these quick adjustments, if you happen to be new to my channel today, I would love it if you would take a second and make a comment down in my comment section, maybe your name, where you're from. I would love to hear from you in the comment section. I also have an Instagram account. You can find me over there at Robin Lane Low. I'll leave that here on the screen for you. That's a great way for us to really get to know each other. So go on over to Instagram and let's follow each other over on that platform. Okay, friends, as I'm finishing up a few more touches, I just wanted to say thank you very much for hanging out with me to the end of this video. I appreciate you greatly. Don't forget, if you're new, to leave me a comment in the comment section. If you're a returning subscriber, hello. Thank you so much for coming back each and every time I post a video. And I just hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. So you guys have a great Easter, and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Parted. Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry, everything's the same We'll try tonight But this time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound What if I'm no good for you? Hello friends and welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you stopped by. I've got a two-day clean with me that is just jam-packed with all kinds of cleaning motivation. Not only am I cleaning areas inside the house, but we'll also be going outside to tidy up and clean up my deck for some friends that are coming over later. I planned on filming a summer front porch makeover for you guys for this week. However, it has been so wet here in Texas and I really wanted to film on a bright and sunny day. And believe me, I am so ready for some sunshine. If you are too, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's get started on this master bedroom because it desperately needs some deep cleaning. To clean the bedroom today, I'm just using my go-to products. I'll use my Endust, I'll use a Swifter dusting cloth, and I'll use my Sprayway glass cleaner. I really like to use those dusting cloths first, and I like to take the time to get the dust off the furniture first, and then I'll go back and polish it with my Endust.
And here, I just wanted to give you guys an up-close look at how dirty this dresser is. I have said this before, that this dresser and I have a love-hate relationship. I love this black dresser. I think it is so, so pretty. But let me tell you what, it stays so, so dirty. So let's start getting this dresser good and clean. I'm going to start, like I said before, using my duster. And then I'll go back and use my end dust to, get to polish it really well. And we'll be cleaning the mirror with the spray away glass cleaner. And friends, while I'm cleaning my room, I'm wa on TV, I'm watching my great friend, Michaela Cabrell. She has the best YouTube channel when it comes to what's for dinner. She is married, she has four children, and she's definitely a superwoman in my eyes. So I'm going to put her name here on the screen. Please go check her out. She has the best recipes for working moms or even moms like me that I have no more children at home. However, I love to use the crock pot, and she has a lot of crock pot meals. So be sure to go over and check her out. Show her some love and let her know that I sent you. I'm not going to change the decor of my dresser today. I'll do that in a few weeks when I do my first summer decorate with me. You guys know that I love changing out my decor for the seasons or if I just pick up a new decor item. I just love showing new ideas of how to decorate your home for you guys. Let me know in the comment section, are you also someone that loves to change your decor for the different seasons or once you get your decor the way you like it, you just leave it alone. All right, so now that all my dusting's done, let's get the bed made. This was actually the morning of Memorial Day. I kind of edited my video a little backwards. In a minute, you're going to see me skip over to the next day. However, this is the morning of Memorial Day. I did not get my bedroom cleaned the night before, so I cleaned it early this Memorial Day morning. And then in a second, you'll see where I get the other end of the house cleaned and the outside cleaned, and that's the night before Memorial Day. If you're new to my channel or this is the first time you've ever clicked on one of my videos, hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Robin. I'm married to Ben Derek. We have three grown children and four grandchildren. I started my channel about a year ago and I also watched YouTube channels for about a year before I started my channel. When I was introduced to cleaning channels on YouTube, I was just hooked right off right from the beginning and I also knew this was something that I would thoroughly love and enjoy however I do work a full-time job and I was really concerned with being able to have a successful YouTube channel and work but with the encouragement of my family and the help of my daughter I, I recorded and posted my first video and the rest is history I have some great subscribers that are also my friends so if you're someone that enjoys YouTube channels I would love for you to take a second subscribe to my channel I do offer a little bit different motivation than some of the channels that have children because my husband and I are empty nesters, so I don't have the messes that people have with children, but of course I do have messes because I do also have two fur babies, but I just have some different motivation for you guys. So again, if that's something that you're interested in, I'd love to have you join this family. Hit that red subscribe button.
All right, so like I said earlier, this is the day before Memorial Day, and this is the day I actually get a lot of my cleaning done. Derek is headed to Sam's to get some groceries. We'll be having some friends and family over tomorrow for a cookout, and our routine is that we try to clean up the refrigerator and wipe it down before we bring groceries into the house. So I'm going to start here, get the refrigerator wiped down, and then we'll move into the rest of the house. Alright, now that that chore is done, I'm just going to add a new scent to my Scentsy Burner and I'm just going to pop that out with a fork and add a new fragrance. Give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you're also someone that likes to wipe out your refrigerator before you add in your new groceries for the week. Now let's unload the dishwasher, get it loaded again, and get the kitchen cleaned. Like a light, lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words said earlier that it's been so wet here in Texas. I seriously think for like the last three weeks it's rained either every day or every other day. I know come late July or beginning of August we will appreciate all this rain but right now I'm not appreciating my yard being so so wet. Hopefully I'll be able to film my summer porch makeover this weekend and get that video posted soon. I'm going to do some power washing because the front porch is really really dirty so I really did want to do that power washing with the yard being so wet. So fingers crossed that I can film that video this weekend. Part, 
Once I get all the countertops cleared off, I'm just going to continue to use that Mr. Clean, get the cabinets wiped off and sanitized. My most favorite product that I like to use wiping down my countertops is the Mrs. Myers All-Purpose Cleaner. And I've pretty much used the lavender scent all spring long, but I'm about out of it, so I need a new fragrance to try. I did try some of the fragrances last summer, but I'm not sure what they're offering this summer, and I haven't tried any of the new fragrances. So, if you have a favorite fragrance from the Mrs. Myers All-Purpose Cleaner, let me know in the comment section so that I can try some out. And y'all, aren't these the cutest patriotic cookies? I happened to find these at Target. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly clean my stovetop with this Cerama Bright cooktop cleaner that I just pick up from Walmart. And normally, when there's lots of burn on food and stuff on top of my stove, I rub this in really well. You'll see me in a second take a sponge and rub it in. And then I'll let it set for a while and let it completely dry and then take it off with a wet paper towel. However, today it really wasn't that dirty. I just wanted to clean it up because we're going to do some cooking tomorrow. So I'm just going to quickly rub it in and take it off without it sitting there. Now let's move over to my dining room. I've been trying to slowly transition my spring decor into summer just by adding a few summer touches here and there. About three weeks ago, I added some yellow and white throw pillows to my bed and a gorgeous yellow textured throw at the foot of the bed. Right after that video, I did a summer decor haul. In that video, I showed you guys some new summer pieces that I picked up and then I showed you how I decorated with them throughout the house. Today, I'm just gonna add a new table runner and I'm gonna change the florals that are in the white picture on my table. I normally leave that table pushed up against the wall to give us some more floor space, but when I know company is going to come over, I like to kind of pull it out so people have, so people can walk beside that table and actually sit in those two chairs. And then here you're just seeing me shine up my table really well with the wood for good and the almond scent. I just love this wood cleaner. I get this from Grove Collaborative.
Y'all, look at this super cute table runner from the Pioneer Woman collection. If you've been following me for some time, you know I just love her collection of her home decor. And I thought this table runner would add a great little summer touch to this area as you walk in the front door. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to all right, now let's move into the living room. My routine is pretty simple in here. I just need to fold up some blankets and I folded clothes. I haven't put them up yet, which I'm terrible about that. And then I'm going to do some dusting in some areas that I haven't touched in quite some time. And then, of course, I always finish off with vacuuming. I've got two dogs in the house, so keeping that dog hair under control is surely a struggle. And because of the dogs, I have to vacuum quite often, probably once or twice per day. I vacuum the floors right there by the front door and vacuum the living room. And because I use my vacuum so much, I just want to encourage you guys to go stop now or when you get through watching this video and let's clean our vacuums. That's a pet peeve of mine. I really like to keep my vacuum cleaner cleaned out. Maybe in my next video, I'll show um, me cleaning out my vacuum cleaner. I've done that before in some previous videos, but I haven't done that in quite some time. But I really like to keep my vacuum pretty clean um, because I do have to vacuum so much. Give me a thumbs up if you're someone like me and you tend to keep your vacuum cleaner pretty clean or leave me a comment if you're someone that most of the time forgets that your vacuum cleaner even needs to be cleaned. If you're a plant lover like I am, I got this great little gadget off of Amazon and it kind of tells me when my plants need watering. I'm terrible, terrible about overwatering my plants. So this kind of tells you if it's extra dry or if it's still wet. And here, mine are pretty much dry. So off camera, I'll get them watered. But I also like to spritz my plants with some water when they're really dry. And so you'll see me do that here. And just like that, your husband shows up with the groceries and the kitchen becomes a mess again. I love making this area by the back door feel cozy and welcoming. And since our back door gets a lot of use when we have company, I'm just gonna change out this pillow and add a cute summer pillow to brighten up this area. Like 
Now let's move outside. I know I am so blessed to have a front porch and a back deck because a lot of my viewers live in apartments and they don't really have much of a front porch or a back porch. And I consider my deck an extension of my home and I try to keep it clean and tidy, especially if the kids or have friends coming over. Let me know in the comment section what your summer vacation plans are. We, are. we will be going to the beach in a couple weeks and I just cannot wait. I cannot get here soon enough. Usually by now I have a really good tan going on. We bought a above ground pool about three weeks ago because our other one got a hole in it. So we just bought a new one. And y'all, it has been so wet. We keep waiting for a good sunny day um, so we can put our pool up. And we just have not had any really sunny weekends. So I am patiently waiting to get that pool up. We have had an above ground pool for probably the last three or four years. And we thoroughly enjoy it. I think I might enjoy it more than the grandkids do. Okay, so we're just going to finish wiping down this side of the deck. I'm just using some old Windex to trying to get rid of this Windex and then I'll move over to the other side of the deck and I'll wipe off our umbrella table. Derek will come later and blow it off so I'm not going to sweep it right now. He'll use his blower and get the deck good and blown off. All right, friends, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed me changing it up a little bit and going outside. If you did enjoy this style of video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. That one small gesture helps me out so much. And if you're still with me, man, do I appreciate you watching my video all the way to the end. I have so, so many friends that greatly support me and they always watch my video all the way through, even if it's not that good. Also, if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section guys take care of yourself so you can be a blessing to others and i'll see you next week bye welcome back friends i'm robin if you happen to be new 
It's still pretty cold here in Texas, however, I'm already starting my spring cleaning and decorating series. This video is short and sweet, and I'm hoping it'll be the quick shot in the arm to jumpstart your spring cleaning. Now go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you're here for some spring cleaning motivation or some spring decorating inspiration. And let's get going. This before picture pretty much sums up my day to day here in my bathroom. I work Monday through Friday and I'm a creature of habit so I pretty much use the same skincare and color cosmetics every day. So instead of putting everything back up each morning as I use it, I normally just sleep everything out and then come the weekend I'll actually put everything back in the tome and clean up like I'm doing today. If you're also a working mom or someone that works outside of the home, let me know in the comments section if this is also how you roll during the week. or if you're someone who must put everything back in its home and clean up before you leave for work each day. I have a feeling if my friend Crystal is watching today, she's saying, Robin, now you know I put everything back up in its home and I clean up after myself each morning before I go to work. I'll leave Crystal's channel here on the screen. She has a wonderful home that is just so beautiful and she keeps it so, so tidy. I love her minimalist channel and go over and check out Crystal's channel and let her know that I sent you. This bathroom really doesn't get much of my attention because I'm pretty much the only one that uses it. When the family's over or we have friends over, they pretty much use the master bathroom. So today I'm really trying to clean it from top to bottom and these lots were so, so dirty. So first I'll take my duster and I'll get these lots wiped down, the vanity wiped down, all the mirrors and kind of work my way down to the floor. Here in this shot, I'm really trying to show you just how dirty this sink is, but the camera is just not letting me really focus in on the dirt here. But I think you guys like it when I show some, when I show how dirty a surface is before I clean it and then show you an after shot. But anyway, I'm trying to show you some toothpaste built up and soap built up here on the sink before I clean it. And I'm going to be using scrubbing bubbles today. I love this stuff and um, I like to spray it on really well, give it a good coat and then just kind of let it absorb a little bit before I go to wipe it off. I'll use a wet washcloth to really work it in and get the sink good and clean and get the vanity cleaned and then you'll see me I'll go back with a dry cloth and get everything dried off. I'm just kind of a little OCD. I do not like to leave surfaces wet. I do this in both of my bathrooms. I do this in my kitchen. After I've wiped it down with a wet cloth, I'll go back and dry it with a dry cloth. If you're new to my channel today, again, I'm Robin. My husband, Derek, and I are empty nesters. 
My channel will be two years old this coming March. I love filming videos here on my channel showing how I keep my home clean and tidy. Plus, I love to decorate and redecorate my home for the seasons throughout the year. So not only do I try to produce cleaning motivation here, I also offer lots of decorating inspiration. So if clean and decorate videos are right up your alley, I'd love it if you would take a second and hit that red subscribe button before you leave today. If you saw my video last week, you'll notice that I kept my bath, my master bathroom decor very, very neutral. And I'm also going to do the same thing here in the back bathroom. It's actually just now dawning on me that I'm showing two bathrooms back to back in two weeks. However, if you're like me, cleaning the bathroom is something I just do not like to do. And I keep putting it off as long as I can until I must clean it. So hopefully I've given you some motivation in two weeks now to get in there and get your bathrooms good, clean, and disinfected. Let me quickly mention that if you have an Instagram account, my handle is at Robin Lane Low. I'll leave that here on the screen. I would love for us to follow each other over on that platform. It's a really easy, quick way for us to get to know each other a little better. So if you have an Instagram account, go on over to, the plat to that platform and let's be friends. All right, so now let's quickly decorate the two shelves that are above the commode. I'm gonna stick with the gray theme and use this cute little gray and white faux plant with these pretty little gray and white cutouts. I just love those. I got them from my Etsy shop about a year or two back. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple on the bottom shelf. I've always had a clock here in my bathroom, and last week I added a clock to Derek's bathroom in the front, which is our master bathroom. Let me know in the comment section, do you have clocks in your bathroom, or is that something that you've never really thought to use as far as decor in a bathroom? Okay, I have lots of mirrors here in this little small bathroom to make it appear a little bigger. So I'm going to use this Windex, which is not my normal cleaner. I love the spray away glass cleaner, but I really need to use up this Windex. So I'm just going to use some paper towels and get all the mirrors cleaned off. let's work on these floors since I get dressed in here every morning my hair just I'm getting older and it just seems to fall out every day so I always have lots of hair on the floor in here so as you can see here in the corner I'm trying to show you how it just kind of builds up underneath that stand that I keep all my products on but anyway I'm going to use this vacuum cleaner with the attachment and try to get all the corners vacuumed up and then we'll come back with a broom and sweep real quickly this vacuum cleaner will pretty much get all of the excess dirt here off the floor however I do still like to go back and use a broom and sweep real quickly and then we'll get the floors mopped
I've got Clorox disinfectant here in this Mrs. Myers bottle. My Clorox bottle quit squirting, so I poured it in here. I like to spray the commode first and then clean the toilet bowl and wipe everything down while that spray is sitting there and kind of doing its job. And I always use paper towels when I'm cleaning the bathroom. And have any of you noticed a big difference in these toilet ones? To me, now that they, as soon as they hit the water, they like start to break apart. So they're, to me, it's just there's just something different about them. When I first started using them, they would last. I could almost clean both of my commodes with one of those little pods. But now it seems like as soon as I start using that brush, that pod just starts falling apart. I still highly recommend them though if you haven't tried one yet. To me, they are very efficient and they're really not that costly. But I get my refills from Sam's Wholesale and to me they are very inexpensive considering that they do such a good job. Okay, now that the commode is good and clean and disinfected, let's move over since I've got everything taken out of the bathroom and let's get the baseboards wiped down really well. Then you're gonna see me, I'm gonna get right into the kitchen and get my spin mop out. I'm just gonna fill it with some really hot water and some more Clorox and get the floors good and mopped and disinfected also. I'm really trying to go the extra mile today. Since I said earlier, this bathroom really doesn't get much of my attention. I clean the master bathroom much often, much more often than I do this back bathroom. I'm really trying to get every inch of it cleaned and disinfected while I'm at it today. Let me know in the comment section, have you started your spring cleaning yet? The one thing I really dread also about spring cleaning is blinds. I pretty much have many blinds in every room of my house and getting those blinds cleaned is such a hard job. Here I'm just going back in the master bathroom and getting that little container filled up. I like to keep it wiped down before I put the wand back in there. So I'm just wiping it down, getting the wand put back in and then we're going to move over into the kitchen and get our water ready to mop the floors. Gonna lay here on the grass I don't need to feel lonely I am finally home at last and I don't mind being gone on adventures for a while No more Alright friends, you're going to watch me mop the floor real quickly and that's all I have for you today. If you're still watching my video, thank you very much. You greatly help me when you watch my video all the way through and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section, especially if you're new to my channel. Let me know where you're from, maybe your name, and if you're one of my oldies but goodies that keep coming back week after week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate you. Thanks again guys and I'll see you next week. Bye! Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin if you happen to be new. I'm so excited guys. I finally got in the rug that I ordered from Walmart. 
Um, I've never had a rug underneath this dining room table, but I feel like adding a rug will kind of soften this area up a little bit, add some character to my dining room, and I'm very excited to get this opened, put it under the table, and let's try it out because I don't have much room in this dining room area as you see here. So I thought an oval rug would help um, not to take up so much space. So let's get everything off of this off the floor here and get everything kind of spring cleaned. I'm going to work on cleaning the blinds and then I'll work on the floors and then get everything put back together. So we're also going to be doing some spring decorating today. Very excited about that. Not all the way spring just yet. Just a few transitional pieces that I already had and I did pick up some new pieces that I'll show you guys. Let me quit talking and let's get to cleaning and decorating. I just had to show y'all real fast. The dogs are out here enjoying the sunshine. That brown and white dog is Remy. He belongs to the neighbor. And then we have Ziggy who thinks he lives here, but he belongs to the other neighbor. And then we have Drake. They are watching me wash the windows. They are so, so cute. I just need you, I don't know what it is you do I just want you, I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you, I just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day can't tell you the last time that I really got into my dining room and took everything out and gave it a good spring cleaning. So it felt really good today to get the blinds cleaned, to get the forge cleaned, to get all the cobwebs taken care of because I always have cobwebs in that window that's right there that I just cleaned. Anyway, so everything, now that everything is good and clean and the floors are dry, I'm going to get this rug open and get it rolled out. Okay, friends, I am loving the color of this rug. It is so, so pretty. I'm going to leave the bar still sitting there to see if maybe the edges will kind of smooth out. It'll lay out just a little bit flatter. And then we'll get the taper on there and see what the table looks like on top of the rug. Well, guys, I'd say that Drake is enjoying the rug. <laughs> Are you enjoying that rug, Mama? Huh? Are you enjoying that rug? We said I'd do for worse or better. Promise to hold on forever. But you let it go. I picked up this beautiful runner from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. It was $24.99. I'm really loving this mustard color this season. I see a lot of this. I picked up a few things to go in the dining room. But first, I'm going to start with this table runner and see how it looks on the dining room table. I went through the decor that I already have. If you guys have never seen my decor collection that I have in my, my office in the closet, I'll have to share that in maybe a coming video. But I do have a lot of home decor pieces that I kind of use throughout my house. So I went through my decor and tried to find that mustard color and some items that I already had. And these chickens were perfect to go here on the dining room table. And I already had that crock candle for some time now. It's almost burned completely out. But that came from Target about a year and a half ago 
ago and I also picked up or I also found some florals that went really good here in that green picture that's one of my favorite pictures so I thought those florals went well here and I'm also going to use those florals over here in this corner on this serving tray that I have here and this is a lazy Susan that I got two of those from my daughter-in-law and my son for Christmas I think it's just beautiful so I pulled that out and I'm going to use this here on this little side table and of course that little bird also had that pretty color the mustard color and this lemon zest and sage diffuser that I picked up from Target it also had a matching candle that I'm going to use in my hutch if you haven't seen those at Target Target's really good about having the matching diffusers and candles that go together and I just loved it they had this in the mustard color on the little label there so I was very happy to pick this up and then I'm just going to add another picture of those really pretty flowers here on the corner to kind of complete that area. And then I hate that those cords show here on the floor by that outlet. So this plant was just big enough to kind of cover up those cords. So I thought that area turned out really sweet and just very simple. So love being able to show you guys just a simple way to create a vignette. You can never go wrong with using a candle, a dish towel, some type of tray, a pitcher with any type of florals. That's just a great way to create something very simple and sweet for any area in your home. Now let's look at this beautiful spring pillow that I picked up from Target. It's from the Studio McGee line. Isn't it just beautiful? I think it has the perfect spring flowers on there. I got it to go at the bar stool at the end of the bar, but it's a little bit too long. So let's see if it'll fit on one of the chairs on the dining room table. Okay, here's a quick after shot. I think this pillow is super cute. Adds a lot of character here as you walk in the front door. I really wanted it to go with that bar so at the end of the bar, but it was just too long. But I think this is gonna work out. So when you walk in the front door, you can see this pillow sitting here and I think it's just adorable. Okay, now let's add a few touches to my pegboard that's right here in the corner. Here's just a few things that I really want to add. This came from the Amazon store, my friend Rebecca at Farmhouse on Meadow Brook, Meadow Hill, I believe. I'll link her video. But I got this off of her Amazon store and it is just a beautiful dark brown cutting board. It is so, so pretty. Then I've had this um, hanging plant for some time. I got it at Target. I probably had it now for about a year and a half. I've never used it. So I'm gonna try to hang this there. Then I've got another of these dish towels that match the one I've put there. And it's got a cute little hook on it. It's also came from Target. And I'm gonna hang this. So let's see what these three items look like hanging on my pegboard. Okay, I'm going to start by removing this wreath really quickly. I think it's going to be too much greenery if I leave this here. So let me try to remove this. Okay, and let's start with my dish towel. Let's hang this kind of high so it won't hang too low. And let's just put this greenery kind of over it like that. Oh, I love that. I so enjoy decorating this pegboard. It is so if you have a spot in your kitchen, I highly recommend. I got this one from um, House and Home, my friend Sky that owns House and Home, but they're very popular. You could probably find them at any Target, Walmart, but that's where I got mine. Okay, then let's hang this cutting board. Let's say, let's try to hang it right there. Ah, I think that blends in so well. And now let's hang our, hang our now let's add a little hanging plant. I love this because I love the light wood against that dark wood. I think it looks really pretty. So let's see, let's maybe hang it right there so you can still see the cutting board. Hmm, not sure. Hang on, let's move this over maybe to that peg and see, is that gonna be too crowded? Let's see what that looks like.
trying to understand all right, now let's move over and work on our hatch. I'm really happy with the decor I have here on my new kitchen hatch. However, I really wanted to add this little lamp here, and it didn't fit on that one shelf that I really wanted it to fit on. It didn't. It was a little too tall. So I'm going to have to move it to this top shelf, which it's okay. It's not really where I wanted it, but it still looks really pretty at night when all the lights are off. I'm just a huge lamp person, so any opportunity that I have to add a lamp to a certain area, I always do. So it does turn out pretty good though. Okay, so I'm just going to move a few things around once I add that lamp there. And I, of course, the situation with my shelving here is not the best because the only place I can really put a candle on this hatch is the top shelf also. Because if I put it right there where I moved that creamer to, if I light it, it could easily smoke up that top shelf and possibly catch fire. So the only place I have to add this really pretty candle that matches the diffuser is right here on this top shelf. So I'm just going to add to the top shelf. I start off using this little cake stand and I think it's really cute but to me it kind of overdoes it a little bit with the lamp so I needed it to set just a little bit lower up against that lamp so I moved that cake that cake stand out of the way but so those are the only changes I'm going to add here to the kitchen hutch and I'm just so loving decorating this hutch and I cannot wait to add some spring touches to it in a week or two. If today happens to be the first time you're stopping by my channel and you've made it this far in the video, thank you so, so very much. I am so happy to have you. And whether you are a new or a returning subscriber, it just means the world to me that you're here watching and supporting my videos. And I hope you leave today leaving a little bit more encouraged and inspired to tackle something in your own home. Here on my channel, I do a lot of homemaking content. I love showing how I keep my home clean tidy and showing all the ways I keep my home decorated. I really love it if you'd hit that red subscribe button and then come back again next week. Don't forget friends to hit that thumbs up button that greatly helps out this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see y'all next week. Bye! I'm Robin if you happen to be new today today is my front porch spring makeover and it's also a collaboration with my beautiful sweet friend Rebecca her channel is called Rebecca Fraser and I'm gonna answer the clip so Rebecca can tell you more about her she also has the best sidekick ever her fur baby Holston so let's let Rebecca tell you a little bit about herself Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and my channel is Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. I'm so happy to be collabing with Robin today. She first introduced herself to me when I just started my YouTube channel and she's just been so sweet and encouraging throughout my journey. And I've just been loving having a channel so much. A little about myself, I live in Canada, southwestern Ontario, and I live here with my husband Chris and our sweet puppy Holstein. I love Jesus and my family and I have a huge passion for decorating my home. I would say my style is traditional farmhouse and I really tend to lean toward using neutrals when I do decorate. And I love being able to decorate for all the seasons Canada has to offer and I look forward to bringing you all along for hopefully lots of inspiration. So once you're done watching Robin's video, I would love it if you would come to my channel and watch my spring porch decorate with me. Thank you. God bless. But so glad you're here. The weather is wonderful today in Texas. Last week we got a lot of thunderstorms and lots of rain, so it's still a little wet around here, but the sun is shining today. That's all I need to get my front porch decorated for spring. I'm also going to add in a little Easter decor just to kind of spruce it up a little bit more and get ready for Easter. So without further ado, let's get decorating. Let me show you real fast. This is my old bench that I've had for about 30 years. And let me show you guys the star of the show today. My friend Charlotte that owns Trade Days here in her hometown, her husband David do lots of trading and they go off to different farmers markets and they do lots of estate sales. And this bench came out of a park and it is just beautiful. It rocks a little bit. It's white, so it's going to show up really well on my porch. So this will definitely be the star of the show today. I cannot wait to get it in front of the window and get some pillows added to it. 
Okay, I'm just going to start with a before picture just to kind of let you guys see what we're working with. I'll remove the old bench and slide in the new one. Guys, let me know in the comment section, have you ever painted your concrete? My concrete here is so terribly stained. I really need to do something to make it look a little better. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have a cute little doormat here today, guys. I'm just going to use the one that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. I ordered a really cute bunny doormat from Amazon, but it didn't come in today like I needed it to. So I'll do a little Instagram or something to show you guys my new doormat. However, today we're just going to have to settle with this little spring doormat that I've had for some time now. I love keeping this big tall black lantern here and it's really pretty at night when that battery operated candle is lit up. I usually hang a welcome sign from the top of the lantern but because I already used two welcome signs I really did not want a third one here. I thought that would be a little bit too much. And this plant is just beautiful. I think it looks really well here by the door. It's fairly full so it fills up this area really well. And guys, how cute is this metal Easter bunny? Oh my goodness. I found this at Hobby Lobby. I think he really completes this area. Here, I'm just going to add this adorable plant stand. I love the wood finish to it. I'm going to use this gorgeous plant that's in this terracotta pot along with this adorable white wooden bunny. I just love the way this area turned out. Now let's add a beautiful Boston fern to this area. You know, it's no secret that us Southerners really like adding ferns to our front and back porches. And a fern can definitely add some muted color and life to a dreary porch. And I don't know about you, but when I hang my ferns on my porch, that means that spring is officially here. I've had this spring wreath for about a year now, and I thought this sweet little happy Easter sign really added a cute little touch to it. I'm definitely someone that leaves a wreath on my door all year long. I believe a wreath can definitely show your personality. They're very welcoming and inviting. And if you don't have a very big porch area that you can decorate, you can always add a wreath to your front door for whatever season that we're in. And to really add a pop of color here to the front porch, I'm going to add this gorgeous pillow. I actually got this last year from Lowe's Home Improvement, this floral looking pillow. I just love it. And the front porch setting pillow, so adorable, came from Hobby Lobby. Okay, now that we have the front door area decorated, let's move down to the middle of the porch where I keep these wooden chairs at. And I'm simply going to add a lantern and this sweet little iron bunny and two colorful pillows that I actually got last year from the Target dollar section.
in the last section of the porch here to the right I already had this area pretty much decorated I keep that white lantern there and that wooden chair I just added a fern and always my antique watering can Okay friends, that ends my spring front porch video. I hope you've got some spring ideas to add something to your front porch. I love adding plants, ferns, pillows, Easter rabbits, just anything like that. A cute little doormat, a great, a great wreath for the front door. Just something to kind of cozy it up right here when you walk into the front door and uh, let it be inviting to my company. I just love that. So I want my porch to be expression of the in inside of my house. And I feel like today I accomplished that. I guess I could say Charlotte and David from his and her trade days here in my hometown um, actually maybe sponsored this video. This is this came from their shop and all of the plants that you see here on my porch came from Charlotte. She gets the best plants and so it's a big deal in our little hometown when Charlotte posts on Facebook that her plants are here and they're sold out just like that. And one last thing guys, don't forget to go over and check out Rebecca's channel. I'll have the link to her latest video which is also a spring decorate with me from porch and she'll give you lots of decorating spring ideas. I just know it. So you're going to love Rebecca. Make sure when you go over and watch her video, leave a comment in the comment section that Robin sent you. Thanks again guys and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello friends and welcome back. If you happen to be new, I'm Robin. I'm so excited to bring you along and show you around my home with my spring home tour. This is also a collaboration with my wonderful friend Angie. Her YouTube channel is called The Bumblebee Farmhouse and we have both supported each other's channel for some time now and I just love Angie's personality, her sweet soul, and let's get real, the way she cooks. I love watching her cooking videos also. Hey guys, my name is Angie and my channel is The Bumblebee Farmhouse. I am so excited that you guys could be here today. I wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you to my friend Robin from her channel Robin Lane Low. My channel here at the Bumblebee Farmhouse is all about homemaking, decorating, cooking, baking, antiquing, shopping hauls, anything and everything that has to do with loving being at home. I hope you guys can make your way on over to my channel after you watch Robin's video today. I would love for you to subscribe and spend some time at my channel. So Robin, again, thank you so, so much for doing this collaboration with me today. I'm so excited. And without any further ado, I will hand you guys back over onto Robin. Okay guys, I can't wait to show you around my home, but real quickly, when you get through watching my video, go on over to Angie's channel. I've got a link to her video down below in my comment section. She's also doing a cozy spring home tour and her home is the coziest. So make sure you go check out Angie in her comment section. Let her know that Robin sent ya. Okay, I'm gonna get my iced tea and I'm gonna show you around the house. So let's get going. So as you walk in from my utility room, you can see that I have an open concept floor plan and I work hard trying to keep my decor pieces and furniture the same style throughout the dining room, kitchen, and living room, just to allow the rooms to flow a little better and to be more aesthetically pleasing. 
Here in the kitchen, you'll see I have the wood cabinets and the brown countertops instead of a more white, modern look. Some people have mentioned that I should paint the cabinets white, but I actually like the wood finish of my cabinets. The only thing I really wished I had though would be like a separate backsplash. My countertops run all the way up to the bottom of the cabinets, and I felt like if I had a separate backsplash, that could be an area that I could change out when I wanted a different look. I have considered adding some hardware to the cabinets, but gosh, with the different styles and colors, it's very overwhelming to me. And when I get overwhelmed, I usually just don't make a decision. However, I do feel like that'd be a great summer project for me, and I will hopefully add that to my summer project list. As I'm going through my kitchen today, I won't be going in detail of what all my decor items are or where I got them from. If you missed my spring kitchen video that I did about a week ago, I'll link that video in my description box. Therefore, if you have some questions and want to know where things are, you can watch that video. Or of course, leave me a comment in the comment section. I'll gladly let you know where I got anything that you like. I love just preparing my home to feel like it's lived in and cozy and inviting. As you can see when you walk in my front door, you're immediately in my dining room and most of our friends and family just come straight to the bar when they walk in the front door. And another way I feel like I've made the kitchen a little bit more cozier is I've added this cloth bar stool to the end of the bar instead of adding another one of those wood bar stools and I love adding some type of pillow here and the bar stool also just another little sweet way to make my kitchen more inviting along with having snacks always on my bar usually in my favorite cake stand. Here in my dining room, my favorite piece is this new kitchen hutch. I originally had a dark brown sideboard in this space in between that piece of furniture along with my dark dining room table and bar stools. This dining room really had no character to me and adding this new kitchen hutch really lightened up this area and gave it such great character. I'm still trying to decide what color I should paint this dining room though. Should I just do an accent wall here behind the hutch or should I repaint all the walls? Hopefully I'll make that decision soon. Another way to make your home welcoming and cozy is to always have it smelling good and because we have two fur babies that's quite a challenge for me and even though I do love to burn my candles I have two diffusers in the house you can see this one here and then you'll see one in the hallway so with my home being more of an open concept I thought the diffusers really help in making the home smell really good when you walk in the front door Now let's move into our main living room. This area of the house which was originally a carport that the previous owners turned into a living area. And even though I do love all the space that's in here, I really struggle trying to keep this area not to look so cluttered because it is so big. I feel like I really have to fill it with big pieces of furniture and therefore the more furniture I have, the more pieces of furniture I have, the more I have to decorate. So I would say this is the room I struggle with the most when it comes to decorating and trying to get it to flow with the kitchen and the dining room. I really love to rearrange areas and make things look, look new and feel new by rearranging furniture. And I think because this furniture is so heavy and the way the living room is laid out, 
I really have no other way to lay out my furniture. It's got to go where it's at now. We've thought about maybe putting the TV above the mantel, and that would free up some floor space and move the furniture around some. And then I hate to put furniture in front of that big window, so I kind of struggle at where to put this furniture most of the time. However, I do the best I can. I try to keep my decor at a minimum. This fireplace is definitely my favorite part of this living room. I just love that brick wall. I do think it adds lots of character to my home, especially since it's the first thing you see when you walk into the front door. I remember the first time we came in and viewed this house, and as soon as we walked in, that was the first thing I saw. Was It was a more darker brick, though. We have painted that white since then, but that's probably what sold me on this house, was this gorgeous brick wall across the back of the living room. Our home is definitely lived in. We raised our three children in this house. We've lived here for almost 30 years and now we're raising our grandchildren here in this home and believe me I would not want to live anywhere else. And if this happens to be the first time that you have visited my channel before, I'm so happy that you're here. I would love it if you would take a second before you leave today and hit that red subscribe button and possibly even leave me your name, maybe where you're from in the comment section. I love talking to all my new subscribers and to all my faithful subscribers that come back every week and support my channel. Now that I've showed you our main living area, let me show you a few shots of our master bedroom. I really try to keep it very minimal and decluttered in this master bedroom because I want the most common effect I can get in here. And I do believe having my bedroom with blues and greens really helps with that calming atmosphere also. And like I did in my main living area, I tried to add just a few simple Easter decor pieces here in the bedroom also. And to end my video, I'm going to show you a few shots of my front porch. My home is definitely my haven, and I pray I've encouraged you to turn your home into your haven. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you would share it with a friend or give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you all for spending some precious time with me today. Don't forget to check out Angie's channel. I've got a link in the description box. I'll take you right to her home tour video. And guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.